Delta, yes, Cesar is joining me. We have not one, but two CRF 300L. Actually, Cesar was one of the biggest reasons I bought my CRF 300L. I was trying to make a decision of which one to buy, and Cesar, that owns both KTM 690 Enduro R and on the CRF 300L, had the opinion I should buy the 300L, as it was cheaper, smoother, easier to ride, and more error friendly. So I ended up buying it, and here we are for my second real off road ride. I'm still trying to learn how the CRF 300L behaves, especially at suspension level, where the soft springs really struggle at higher speeds when off-road. And it's great I'm riding along Cesar, as he is more experienced rider and has been riding the CRF for quite a while now. I think that at the slow technical sections the suspension is performing great for my 75 kilos but it's at the fast whoop sections that I struggle a lot to keep her on the ground. But Cesar has a great technique and is able to extract a lot more from this notorious soft suspension. Which brings me to another idea. It's not just what your suspension can do for you, it's also what you can do for your suspension. We stopped to rest and met a channel subscriber that calls me the CB500X guy and after a nice long chat we decided to keep moving forward on the track as it looked it could start raining at any moment. Me and Cesar have the same weight and height and the low seat height of the Honda CRF300L is perfect when we need to reach the ground. Os pneus, pneus ao EM, Pá, os pneus são ótimos no Alcatrão, ótimos, eu nunca tive uns pneus de taca assim tão bons no Alcatrão, nem os TK para ser 80 são, são tão bons. Bunda, só bicho, facilmente. We ended up on a section where I always struggle. I've crashed here before. Sand here is not very deep, but it can really throw you off balance. And I forgot to warn Cesar about this section. I think some goats cross here every single day and somehow make the ground different. Does this make sense? Another sandy whoops section and another chance to start learning how the suspension reacts on the whoops. Cesar controla muito melhor aquela suspensão do que eu, já repararam? Completamente. I'm paying attention to Cesar as I'm loving his technique. I've said it before that it was pretty obvious that this suspension was made for comfort, not for speed. 
but it's impressive what you can do on a stock on the CRF 300L with the right technique. Even on these 50-50 IRC stock tires, both bikes ride this section like a breeze. Just before the Mekko climb, the rain started to fall. So we needed to send it and get out of there fast. As we kept moving it started pouring, but hey, one amazing trail, amazing views, two amazing bikes and two adventure riders having fun. Which brings us to the question, what's better than one on the CRF 300L?